A few days ago, I recorded this interview. Look at this trick. Say that I want to paste three seater search the string inside the parentheses of the remote. And so I would say yank, capital R, and then I would use flash to select the thing that I want to paste. And so I want to select three seater search. So at this point I press L and I say around quotes and paste. Oh. And that's pretty cool because it allows you, because otherwise I would need to like jump there um, here copy. and then yeah. and then go back and then paste. And so I find that to be pretty cool. Um, and I definitely use that a lot with, with Flash. I didn't even know that that was a thing. So really appreciate Maria for that trick that was shared with all of us. And let me just quickly show you how I use this. Let's say that I'm at the bottom of this paragraph. Let's say that I'm here and I need to add the section that says in my blog post and in inline text. How would I do it? Usually I just jump like this. I don't use relative line numbers, so I do it like this. A lot of people is going to hate it. GSS is a key map that I have, right? So I'm just going to undo these changes. I'm just going to go down here again. What is another way of doing it? I could use flash. Just type S, type in, U, jumps there, select these three words, GSS, and that did it. But now I'm going to do it the exact same way that Maria did it in the video. So let's say that I'm here in the L and load it. And I just realized that I need to add that as inline code. So notice what I'm going to do. I'm going to type GSA, that is goes around add. Now notice that which key shows up. I'm going to type the letter R there for remote flash. Now I'm going to type in. Here I can type U3E. So that is going to select the three words. So let's do that. U3E. Didn't press the E. There we go. Now notice that it says there. Enter output surrounding identifier. So I'm just going to type the tilde, notice that it added it and my cursor jumped back to where I was. Now let's say that, for example, I need to add that with transparency section in bold. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just going to type GSA to add a surrounding R for remote flash. Just going to type here with Z to E. And now I'm going to type here a question mark. Notice that this small window shows up. Two asterisks there, hit enter. Two asterisks again, hit enter. Notice that that added it. My cursor didn't jump back to where it was because of autosave, but if you don't do autosave, don't worry about it. But I do have autosave and auto formatting enabled, so I just have to modify a few rules. Let's jump back here to this line. And uh, let's say that we want to do what Maria did in the video. If I want to copy the text or the line where it says screenshot of YouTube in this specific line where my cursor is, I'm just going to delete this here. So I'm just going to type Y to yank, R for remote, screenshot, B, Y, Y. Now I'm just going to type here P to paste. And uh, that's it. Let's try it with a different line. I'm going to type here Y again, R for remote. I'm going to type image, WYY. Now I'm just going to paste here with P. And uh, that did it. How is all of this happening? I'm using two different plugins. One of them is flash.nvim. Let me open it real quick. And uh, this is the one, the first result, the O, this one. Scroll down. This one already comes with LazyVim, I think, so I didn't need to install it. But one of the features of these plugins is the remote, where is it? Remote actions, perform motions and remote locations. And the other plugin that I was using is Mini That's Around. And there is this one is the one that I use for the GSA, which adds surrounds, removes surrounds, or replaces surrounds. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do with it. The question mark that I type, if I search here, 
let's see command F and I'm just gonna search this interactive prompts user to enter left and right parts where can you find my config let me show it to you real quick I'm just gonna jump to my dot files here let's go to flash dot Lua this is some comments that I left here notice remote operations it's this section I explained what needs to be done surround in quotes four words in a remote location here are the steps paste the text that is in single quotes in another line where my cursor is at this is the trick that was shared by Maria here is where you have the type here's the explanation and in case that you forget about bold there's a comment here as well bold a remote location gsar the text what you're searching for e selects four words this is interactive mode the two asterisks that you type enter the two asterisks again and uh, enter and remember that here is an explanation of what each thing does do I have any configuration for mini surround? I don't remember. Let me see. Surround, mini surround. I think this is the configuration that comes with the lazy bin plugin. I don't think I applied any changes. I don't remember right now. Let's take a look real quick. Yeah, all of this seems default. Um, I don't remember, but you can get the default configuration from, from GitHub. Or if you're using LazyVim, I don't remember if this comes already installed or not. I have videos in which I explain more about mini that's around. I think the one that I covered the most is this one, my complete NeoVim markdown setup and workflow in 2024. So go and check that out. I explain a lot of stuff in there. If you wanna watch the interview that I had with Maria, it is listed here was recorded two weeks ago is one hour long we go over a lot of stuff in there and learn about her setup where can you find the plugin configuration let me go to my dot files real quick here they are remember that if you find useful information here give them a star i'm at 745 stars at the moment so if you just search here for flash.lua you're going to be able to find it. Notice that I have different new Vim configurations. This is not the one in Vim Kickstarter. No, it is this one, the one that is under NeoBean. Also, if you want to try my own setup, my own configuration, I don't have a distribution, but I do have a video in which I explain how to get my config. Here, this is the one. Download and test multiple new Vim distros. Go and check that out and I explain it there. If you use NeoVim in a more traditional way, you will probably not like this because you have to rely on plugins. And in case that you don't have the plugins, your workflow would be different, but I don't care. Most of the times I'm using LazyVim, NeoVim, so I don't have to be fully compatible with Vim. So hope this helps. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.